Hey everyone, it's a set here and welcome back for another video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a full set. Um, she hasn't had her nails done in a while, so I am going to be preparing the cuticle. Um, I don't normally do cuticle, so I am trying to work on my cuticle prep. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking this cuticle drill bit, and I'm actually going really slow. This is sped up, so it looks like I'm being rough, but I'm really not. Um, so I'm using this at like a lower speed as well, trying to remove all of the dead skin and really trying to loosen up that cuticle area. I am a lefty, so this right here, I'm working from my right to left, and this is on the reverse setting. Um, and then I am going to switch it to forward to work on the other side. So like here, I switched it to forward to work on that part of the nail bed. So now I'm dusting it off and I am pushing that skin up because I'm going in with some cuticle clippers or nippers um, and I'm going so slow like I don't normally like I said do this kind of cuticle prep here I'm just clipping off any excess hanging that I see and this is sped up so it looks like I'm a little rough but I was very slow and you know just trying to be safe about it. I'm cutting her natural nails shorter because we are going to be adding tips. Now I'm coming in with my 180 sanding band and I am removing the shine from the natural nail. Um, this is to ensure that there would be no lifting once I apply the gel. Before applying the tip, I am measuring it from left to right, making sure it covers the entire free edge. And I'm using clear stiletto tips, and then I'm gluing it on with KDS nail glue. After that, I'm coming in with my nail clippers and I am going to shorten to her desired length. I am using her other hand to measure to make sure that they are all the same length. We did want a more narrow look, so I'm coming in with straight edge clippers and clipping the side walls to make it easier so I won't have to foul so much. Now I'm coming in with my 100-180 nail foul and I'm filing the side walls and I'm blending the tip in with the natural nail. And then I will be going over top, roughening up the surface so when I do apply the gel, it'll stick better.
Now I'm going in with my Mia Secret Nail Dehydrator, making sure that it's all dehydrated. And then I will be applying clear rubber base coat. And then I will be applying a thin layer of that and then curing it for 60 seconds in an LED lamp. We are going to be doing ombre nails on the pinky pointer and thumbnail. Instead of using white gel, I'm using a custom glow in the dark Belgian gel that I mixed up with pigment. I apply it halfway up the nail and then I flash cure it for 15 seconds before moving on to the next nail. I am taking the new gel pot number four and I am applying that to the top half making sure it's close to the cuticle and then I will be dragging that halfway over top the glow in the dark section and I am blending it a little down so it could overlay nicely and then I actually flash cure that again for 15 seconds before moving on to the next nail. With the ring finger and middle finger, I'm going to be applying a wet layer of gel and then I'm going to be dragging the glow in the dark Bilger gel up on the nail making random lines. I am going to flash cure that and then I will be applying some butterfly sequence inside. Before applying the butterfly sequence, I do add a thin layer of gel so the butterflies do stick to it. And I do also add some gold foil to the edge of the cuticle and then the free edge. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I flash cure it for 15 seconds. Now I'm coming in with some clear bilge gel to encapsulate the nails. I do flash cure it as usual before moving on to the next nail. I am using some alcohol and a lint-free wipey to remove that sticky layer and then I am going in with a 180 grit nail file and filing the sidewalls and free edge straight. Now I am taking my ceramic umbrella drill bit and then I'm going to be sealing the cuticle area and then filing over top to smooth.
after that, I'm coming in with my white buffing block, buffing over the top to smooth. For a top coat, I'm using the Gel Bottles Ink Extreme Shine Top Coat and I cure this for 60 seconds. these are the final look it's hard for me to take the glow in the dark ones this was the best photo that i could get um but i want to thank everybody for taking the time out to watch this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one